exercises are going to be as follows. Squat and reach. Air squat. Up downs. And finally, knee to elbow. Squat and reach, hips back, reach up as hips come forward, fluid motion, breathe. Breathe in when you go down, out when you pop up, reach. Here we're putting energy into our system, smooth motion, breathing. Air squats, hands come out in front, chest stays up, hips go back. We're making sure those knees don't track in front of our toes. Our heels stay real tight. We don't want any lift there. So the depth of your squat ideally is right at 90. A little bit lower if you feel comfortable. But be smart. If, it, if you have to leave, if your heels leave the floor, for you to get any lower in the squat, we don't want that. So monitor that position. Heels always stay tight. Up downs. Solid body position. Core is tight. My legs are really tight. I'm just walking. I'm putting my hand where my elbow was. I'm matching hand to elbow, marching up. Just a lot of tension in the legs through the core into the hands. Knee to elbow, tight plank, focusing on keeping my body low. We don't want the hips to raise real high, nice and tight. The knee comes in, touches elbow, goes back, foot goes back out. Again, I always set those hips. We're connecting movements, connecting exercises. Back to our feet. Always a few deep breaths before you start this, squat and reach. Putting our hands above our head raises our heart rate a little bit more. Hips are going out, hips are going in, good reach. Quality movement, excellent. Remember to breathe, start thinking about what you want to get out of your workout. Focus is definitely on form. And we're reaching, our hips are back, air squats. Hands reach out, arms go nice and straight, chest stays up, hips goes back, hips go back, heels stay tight. Transition to the floor, deep breath. Up down, start on the forearms. And our legs are tight, all the tension goes right up into our core. Smooth pace. Beginning, if this is a tough movement for you, do not be afraid to do it from your knees. As with the push-ups, which we'll be doing plenty of. Be smart. If you can't complete all 10, do them from your knees. This exercise, modification would be to do it from your forearms. But if you can, do all 10 reps from your hands. Excellent. You ready to go? Week one, day five. We're going to be doing a pyramid workout consisting of three exercises two with the kettlebell and then push ups. First exercise is a kettlebell squat. Remember to touch those elbows, pop the hips forward. Touch the elbows. Hips forward. Second exercise is a push up. Remember, 
focus on your plank for that one as the reps are going to be pretty low throughout the circuit. The third round, the second, the third exercise, second round through this circuit is going to be a kettlebell swing. Off the hips, generate energy from your legs. Let's do it. Rack that kettlebell, get it where you want it, and we'll squat. Hips out, hips in. Breathing. They transition the flow up the pyramid, then down the pyramid. Nice and tight, a little challenge. Choose your position on push-ups. Keep that position the whole time. If you're starting from your toes, force yourself to stay there as you progress through this session. Breathing. I want you to give it your best on the pace in this workout. Keep it up. Keep the movement solid. Let yourself get tired. And these workouts, these Friday workouts, sometimes they come and go really fast. You know, we're constantly transitioning. Core is tight. Good pressure off that floor. Control. Floor to feet, floor to feet. It's a good transition. Heart rate's pumping, body's working hard. 15 squats, try not to let the last squat be noticeably weaker than the first. In your mind, you gotta stay strong, power through. Hips out, hips in, pressure comes forward. Keep that transition smooth. When you finish your squats, go right back in. I don't want any pausing on this workout. I want you to push through the best you can and finish when you can. The concept is simple, but that's what we love about it. It's doable. I'm gonna tell you that, this is simple. Everything we do is simple. We do it because it's effective, because we want the results. Body tension, good breathing. Super efficient flow. Keep the push up strong. Pressing hard. Press that floor away. Press it away. Press it. So the pressure comes down. You're pushing away. Push ups are a mindset. Get your mind right. Treat them right. Don't respect them. Work through them. Coming down off the pyramid. Again, press away. My thoughts are on pushing this floor away. I'm going to drive. Drive. It's solid. Good movement. To our feet. we got second round. We're going to switch things up a little bit. This time we're going to hinge, hinge that kettlebell up and away. Breathing. Keeping the transition as constant, as continuous as we can. Press that floor away. Press the body up. Stay strong. The mind, the mind is thinking we're going to get through this as efficiently as possible. Nothing's a big deal. We're can-do people. Pop those hips. Breathe. Good movement. Quality. Find yourself falling behind a little bit. Don't sweat it. Focus on what you have to do and get it done. We're here to motivate and educate. Strong. Again, the transitions are smooth. The body is tight. The hips are extending. Hands are reaching. Working our way up and then eventually back down. Focus. 
Think strong. We swing it, we push, we squat, we push. Just stay in position, stay engaged. Back to it. Again, my hips, my mind is on my hips. They're doing the driving. As we come back down off this pyramid. We try not to rush it. Let the exercise come to us. But keep our transitions very smooth. Pressing up, strong body, core tension, legs are tight. When you fatigue here, keep your legs tight. Same thing, from your hips, keep your thighs tight, your quads. The knees, the point of contact from, from there, you know, work up from there. Finish your swings. In your mind, you want to treat this like your first set, tough. Finish strong, finish in control. And we go, day five in the books. Our cool down is a lower back complex consisting of three positional holds. Focus on the lower back. Off your timer, assume position, chest up, hips out. We're pulling the chest up, we're creating tension in our low back. My gaze is slightly up, always forward. Pulling those muscles of our back together and tight. Shoulder blades are coming together. Hands are pulling back and up, creating tension. We're trying to balance out all that sitting we do every day. So we gotta activate the muscles of our posterior chain. Hamstrings, gluteals, all of our back muscles. And this exercise is a, it takes a lot of practice. It's a good cool down. We're putting, we're putting an isometric tension in our body. We're focusing on these simple holds and we get to work off the timer. Third position, we're forcing the chest up, arms are straight, heels are tight. We're keeping that tension in our posterior chain. Don't shortchange these exercises, focus. Let the timer tell you when to stop, when to start. We're breathing constantly, finishing our workout very solidly. The rest period if you want, grab a drink of water, towel off a little bit, focus. As we go into the next round, we're going to think about increasing the stretch a little bit. Reaching through those tight positions, keeping the chest a little bit higher. Good. Here we're putting that energy into our hips. Up our low back, nice and tight. Shoulder blades coming together a little bit. You can rotate your hands a little bit if you want. I'm just focusing on the position, heels tight, making sure my knees are not sliding forward. Remember to squat down a little bit so we bend them, we're hinging at the hips. Chest is up, focus is strictly on our posterior chain. Reaching forward, reaching up as best we can. Again, breathe through this, work through the tension. It should be burning. Focusing on that posterior chain. Let the timer tell you when to start and stop. And third position. As you slide up, you create that tension into your back. 
holding this tight, focusing on the posterior chain, hamstrings, gluteals, low back, upper back. We're seeking balance. Excellent. Rest period again. One more round. I like to move during rest period. You can walk around a little bit. Get some water, focusing on putting energy back into your system, into your body, cooling down from this tough workout. Get a new position, create tension. Very important to do your cool down, do your warm up every time. We're getting our mind right, thinking about the successes we had, what may have been a little bit challenging, what, what we might need to work on next time. So we will have those thoughts in our mind as we're, as we're creating this tension. Breathing, focusing. Improving, think improving every time, so little things. That little extra effort, that little extra reach, extra tension. Transition, the chest up, set, look, tight. Finish strong. Begin the breathing, calm your breathing, relax. And there you go.